this is an, a general information what type of customer is the customer is an individual in then we have an marital status nationality if we have any external business partner number external business partner number means external credit management system it is not an sap system it is running on in some other uh, uh, application or some other technology in case if you would like to have that number to be mentioned here you can mention that that is an external business partner number okay if we have if you have a system like you know uh, multiple systems and the same cost is maintained you can maintain the id identification number responsible uh, initiations in case if they have anything the tax numbers in case of tin number or in case uh, you know any vat number if you want to maintain you can maintain here but one thing i would like to let you know that some of these fields are not relevant for all countries there some of them must be country specific but indeed it's required you can maintain it otherwise you can you know uh, leave it it's not this is not mandatory field now the control uh, this is a business partner type in case if you want to maintain the business partner type you can maintain it in case like you know for the category like uh, uh, any of your employees or also customers and some of your manager also customers then business partner that you can maintain it so it's not a main it's not mandatory to have in case if you have authorization group that you maintain you can maintain here and remember that in credit management collection and disputes authorization groups plays a very very important role that we need to uh, remember that okay this is not here but in the business partner will maintain we will show in uh, uh, collection and disputes how business partner is important what will uh, drive uh, the business partner will directly see them in uh, collection and dispute management okay data origin in case uh, if you want to specify that for where this particular master data is being derived if it is the license system you can put it if it is uh, from purchase at this data set like we put it and in most of the cases it is blank if it is created directly in sap fsm or in sap sap means you create the customer in sap it automatically is a business partner or you can directly create in the business partner in uh, uh, FSTM. In that case, this field will be blank. <coughs> if it is a converted data, you can simply take that, you know, this legacy data. So it is easy to more if any record fail, and you will determine that why the record will, I mean, record uh, updation get failed. Then you say, oh, this is coming from your uh, legacy system. The interface between the legacy and SAP didn't work. Then you will be able to easily check. Otherwise, what happens? Then you'll be, uh, you know, uh, trying to do more and more uh, troubleshooting. Why this is not happening? It is possible that uh, if you are implementing FSCM to replace your, to replace or to uh, expand the functionality from your existing system, then you will get some of the data through interfaces. So at the time of conversion, you update this field, stating that zero 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 three. The moment you see the business partner, you say that how oh, this business partner data is coming from the legacy system, and that there is an interface that running between legacy system and SAP to update these records. Provided if the legacy system got uh, changed, the corresponding data in this FSCM also has to get updated. So it is easy to identify. This is all additional notes for corresponding accounting, marketing, and credit management. You will certainly get in case if you have a credit management module in your uh, Credit management module, or at least if you have a multiple departments, both at customer level as well as your uh, uh, your customer as well as in your own business. If you have a multiple departments, then each department would like to enter their own note about this business partner. Then what we do is we select this marketing department and enter the text. Then you will be able to go to the editor. And enter the note. This particular field belongs to marketing. This one is your accounts. You can say that you know we send several several remain to the customer, and the customer is not uh, you know uh, willing to make payment for so and so invoice and so and so part of the amount. Suppose if they want to put it, they can put it. That is an invoice level, but still at master data level, at something if account department would like to know, then they can put it. Say that there is an a contact person changed, and the earlier contact person has informed so and so information. And that's the reason that's being noted here. It is not a transactional level information; it's a master data level information. But still, if you would like to maintain from accounting perspective, 
similarly from marketing perspective from credit management department perspective this editor and this section is very very important certainly this process will come when you go uh, for workshop or uh, doing a business meeting with the work client this type of questions will certainly come they say that hey, one of my uh, cashier she says that uh, some important information needs to be uh, noted on the uh, customer and that is uh, the customer always keep giving a problem to make payment uh, uh, for this type of uh, invoices where like you know it could be uh, you know tax related invoices or it could be uh, you know transportation related invoices or it could be handling charges they always uh, make deduction and uh, make uh, payment after deducting it so it is always advisable to have a special look on the payments if the information if you were uh, uh, you know cash of player would like to put on this particular master data then that information is irrespective of the invoices that you can maintain here okay and similarly the correspondence for sending a correspondence if you have special instruction that customer would like to uh, uh, put at master data level then you check it and you enter the credit and do that that's how it is similarly your credit department your credit department would like to put a note select this and go to the editor then it will go and put it at profit columns this is the additional advantage that you will get it in fsm credit management at business partner level